Good morning, you guys. Excuse me if I look sideways. I don't know. Like, I'm it's, it's just how I'm sitting and Aria, yeah, um, I'm feeding and stuff like that. But, happy Monday, y'all. I'm so upset because I this would be my fourth video. Supposed to be my fifth. I didn't get a chance to record vlog or just rant yesterday, Sunday. So, today is October 17th. This month is almost over, y'all. We're like halfway through already. And um, I had so much to talk about yesterday. But just, yeah, yesterday I just didn't record. But um, so, first things first on this Monday. My big goal date, which was, is to move to Atlanta, has moved up earlier. So, I had the date set for June 1st. Which is still if it's the Lord's will, but I'm and I'm still praying about it. But I move the date like 90 days up, so it went from June 1st to the first quarter of the year, um, at least by March or the beginning of April, at least by March or the beginning of April. I would like to be making that move and why we moved up because I was like, okay, so here's the story. I don't know if I should do this as a story time or whatever. Story time. We're going to have story time. So here's the deal. Right? One second, you guys. Y'all, I don't know what's going on with Miss Aria. She doesn't seem to be holding her milk down, which is the precious gold for me. And I already feel like I'm having a problem supplying enough for her. But for like the past three days, she hasn't really been holding the milk now. She's really been like, she's still pooping and being pretty good, but she's just not holding the milk down. I don't know if it's because I'm giving her like, I've left her for like two days last week. So, I was giving her milk that I pumped in the freezer. And I know the eating, like the diet that I had from the milk that's in the freezer is totally different from what I'm doing now. Because I just switched it up. Because the whole first month she's been home, I was not eating like whole foods and like protein dense food and meats and just the the whole the good stuff i was like consuming sugar because that's what i craved so i was consuming a lot of snacking like not all bad but it was cookies it's granola bites it i tried to make sure i eat some food that would produce milk but it wasn't enough like of the good food that i need to be eating like vegetables and fruits and chicken and rice and like whole food and then um found out that yesterday I got on the scales my kids y'all so last time I got on the scale was about I don't know I want to say about two weeks ago at the doctor and I was 120 so I talk in my other videos how I lost like 15 pounds 15 16 pounds after having her because I was like 137 ish before I got pregnant so after that, I lost 15 pounds, and I know with breastfeeding, it made me lose more weight. So the way I've been eating cookies and snacks and stuff, I'm like, okay, I know I got to have put on weight. But I feel like my jeans and stuff still aren't fitting that great. So, excuse me, y'all. Okay, mama. So I feel like my jeans and stuff still weren't fitting that great. And like my size 4 jeans, they're fitting really loose. So I got on the scale last night in Winn-Dixie, the grocery store. And I lost 5 more pounds, y'all. I'm just like, and I'm not supposed to be losing weight while I'm pregnant. And it kind of, you know, it kind of concerns me. Because I know I need to be eating more. I know I need to be... Is that you? Is that you, Mama? 
Who is that pretty baby? Is that Aria? So, I know I'm supposed to be eating more. So, starting Saturday just passed, I'm trying to make sure that I get what I need. Eating six times a day, eating a good breakfast, protein, getting a lot of protein, and um, just eating how I'm supposed to. Because when I was in the hospital for those four days after when I had her, like I was eating really good. And of course, I mean, I have the food there to order. I don't have to cook it. I could just order it and call and I'm getting everything I need. But since I came home, it's like you have to readjust. That's why it's so important because I read before I had her, like how important it is to meal plan and put food in the freezer and have food put up for the first month. And I should have done that. But this goes to story time. But because I'm living with my parents, I've been living with my parents for the past year. So I got pregnant with my family. So it's me, my husband, my son, my daughter, and we got pregnant in here in my parents' house. How weird is that, y'all? How weird is that? I'm all over the place, but I'm going to tell y'all this story real quick. So, yeah, me and my husband, we financially, we have been going through and... We moved in with my parents. My parents have a huge house. Like, they have, like, five-bedroom, 4,000-square-foot home. And it's more than enough room for us to be here. But it's still that thing, you know, where we need our own. And then to get pregnant in the house and have another baby, and we're still here. So, yeah. That's my son, y'all. I can't stand when he's loud for no reason. Anywho, so we're here. And um, that's why we pushed our day up to for Atlanta. Because now we've been here. Yeah, September, August made a year that we've been here. So in a year, my husband got Bell's palsy, which we thought was a stroke. Which was like two months after moving in here. He lost his job. It's been hard for us to just bounce back. And um, me and him, we've been having difficulties in our marriage just because of the situation. We can't seem to communicate that well, and we're working on it. And um, I was thinking, like, because, you know, tax season is coming up, just to be transparent with you guys. Tax season is coming up. And when this money comes, it will be... Major, what's the problem? What's the problem, Major? Why are you and Lilu making all that noise? Why y'all making so much noise? I hear you too. No school today, y'all. Anywho. What was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, see, she just... <sighs> I don't know, y'all. I don't know what's going on. I'm just about to take it to the doctor. But like I was saying, we've been here for a year. And of course, tax season is coming up. And that's going to be a big lump sum of cash for us. So even though I had set my goal for June to move, I was like, why? Because I want to move out like January or February. But it wouldn't make sense for us to get an apartment where we live. And then it wouldn't make sense for us to get an apartment where we live when I'm planning on making a move to Georgia in June. So, I mean, if we got an apartment, we probably wouldn't get in until if we applied in January, we wouldn't get in until probably February, March then april may june three months and we're moving to georgia if it's the lord's will so i'm just like why not move it up why not take that whole not the whole thing but that investment because I, I need to get me a car take that investment and just make the move then so march would put it up to we have like we're in the middle of October, so we got like two and a half months left in this year, plus end of March, sometime in March, right? Around my birthday time, maybe, or something. 
What's the matter? No. Sometime in March. Sometime in March would be great. My birthday month, even though I had a lot of plans to like travel, just go somewhere different. Maybe my kids' birthdays fall January, major February cadence, and then my birthday March. So I was thinking to take them on a Disney cruise or something. My son wanted to go to Legoland. I don't know, but I think the transition is more important like just a new environment and new things is more important and i'm really praying hard about this and i really feel like it's just time for me to enlarge my territory like it's time for me to make that move so yeah my big goal has moved up to march and see the thing about it, my husband and I, we talked about this for a very long time, like years. Um, I think even before we got married, because we are we're always in Georgia because his aunt lives there, and I love it every time we go. We go, it's Marietta, which is Atlanta area, and I love it. I feel like it's a very family oriented place, and it's a good place to raise our family. Plus, I get to experience, like, that cold, hot weather, you know, like, not Florida where it's hot year-round. We might get a couple of days of cold here and there. Like, it's just something new. And I love the culture of Atlanta. And it's so much to do in Georgia. Like, there's not... Of course, we have beaches here in Florida, but that's about it. We got beaches. In Georgia, I mean, I can always come home and go to the beach. But in Georgia, and I'm sure they have... Do they? I'm sure they have beaches in Georgia somewhere. Or do they? I don't think they do. No, they don't. But <laughs> I don't know. We'll confirm that. But, you know, I want to see mountains. And I want to see just different things. And I want to go live in the log cabin and do all this great stuff. And I feel like it's just something new. And, you know, we'll try it out for a year. And if it doesn't work, I'm not saying that I'll come back here to Florida. But, but we'll, um, you know, it'll work itself out. So that was one thing that I wanted to say. I, we're, we, we're moving our big goal up to move the whole family to Atlanta, March. So I have to start looking for apartments, you know, praying and just letting God work things out. Now, here's the deal with me losing five more pounds. I'm not supposed to be losing weight while I'm breastfeeding. I'm supposed to be eating like I'm supposed like I'm supposed to be gaining actually a pound a week breastfeeding because I'm supposed to be eating that much food and y'all I just don't know what to do I really don't I really don't and I'm not gonna let this cause me to stop breastfeeding I'm just really not gonna let this stop me from feeding my kid good stuff My son just came in here. We're supposed to be going to the library. Um, we're going to the library today. So, I'm going to set some goals this week. Start putting some things in place to do what I got to do. Just to start getting ready for this move. That's about it, y'all. I don't really feel like rambling today. I feel like I had something else to say. And if I do, I guess I'll vlog it later or something. Or that could be tomorrow's video. Oh, I'm going to do an underarm detox. Underarm detox. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. But I noticed while I've been breastfeeding, I've really been sweating really bad. De deodorants just don't work for me. But that'll be another video. So... I'm going to, yeah, talk about that. Maybe later or tomorrow. But I'm going to do an underarm detox. So you have to come back and stay tuned and watch the next video to see that. But all you're saying is time to go. So there's my video for today. Happy Monday, you guys. Just set the foundation. Stay positive. Get away from the negative. Do big things with your life. You got purpose and a calling, right? So, until tomorrow, happy Monday.